hey guys welcome back to my channel today in this video we'll be making this paper bag waist shorts with belt so without further ado let's jump right into this video so i already have the pieces i'll be using to cut the front pattern of this pant and i'll be adding two inches band to this band so all the vertical measurements that i'll be taking i'll make sure i remove the two inches for the band so the first measurement i'll take is the distance from my waist to my hip which is nine inches so i removed the two inches and i marked out nine inches and i ruled a straight line across the next measurement i'll take is my crotch measurement so a video is showing on the screen on how you can take your cross measurement after taking the measurement whatever you have you are going to divide by two so as you can see i still removed the two inches before taking my crotch line which is 13 inches and i also went ahead to rule a straight line across the next measurement i'll take is my pant length which is going to be 19 inches i still took out the two inches and i'm going to rule out rule a straight line across the next thing I'll do is to start placing my horizontal measurement. So on my waistline, I'll take my hip measurement divided by 4. On my hip line, I'll take my hip measurement divided by 4. And on my crotch line, I'll take my hip measurement divided by 4. So I'm using my hip measurement on the three points because this is a free band. So what I'll do is to connect these three dots together into a straight line. So after doing that, what I'll do now is to mark my crotch extension line. And in order to get your crotch extension line, what you will do is to mark what you have on your crotch line. Okay, so I'm going to place my tape from this end to the end where the line stops and what I have is 10 inches I'm going to go ahead and divide this 10 inches by 4 so I'll use my tape like this I'll divide it by 4 and after doing that what I had was 2.5 inches so I'm going to approximate it I'm going to make it 3 inches so from that straight line that we have I'm going to mark 3 inches out and this is going to serve as our crotch extension line so i'm going to connect like this to meet the hip line so if you don't understand just look at what i am doing um for the waist area i'm not going to insert my waist measurement like i said this pant is a free pant and we need the waist to be as free as possible because we'll not be adding a zipper to this pant on my pants length i'm still going to place the measurement that i have on the hip line because i want the down part of this pant to be free but if you don't want yours to be free you can just measure around your tie and divide it by two and place that um, same measurement on the tie line but i'm just going to connect straight from my crotch line to meet the pants line and i'm going to add one inch for um hemming allowance i'll connect the lines and i'll go ahead and cut so we are done with the front pattern of this pant after cutting i'll split the sides open that and this is what we have for the front so we'll be using the front to cut out the back part of this pant so for the back pattern my fabric is already folded into two i'll go ahead and place the front pattern on it like this making sure that the um the length aligns so i'll pin it all the way around and i'll start taking my measurements so the first thing i'll do is to extend my crotch extension line because the crotch for the front and the crotch for the back is supposed to meet while sewing so i'm going to do that to avoid any form of mistake so after doing that the next thing i'll do is to increase the waistline for the back by two inches so i'm going to go up from this waistline by two inches and i'll just make a mark there you can do two inches you can do three inches so what i'll do next is to extend that line up like this and then i'll slant from that two inches to meet the end of the pants on the other line so i'm going to go ahead and extend the back piece by two inches so from the waistline i'll go out by two inches all the way to meet the crotch line i 
I'll also extend the waistline to meet the 2 inches mark that I just make. I'll connect like this and from that curved area I'll start curving like this. On my crotch extension line I'm going to increase that line by 3 inches. So I'll place my tape on the um, front crotch extension line and I'll mark out 3 inches. So I'll just land from the 2 inches that I've been taking from the start to meet these three inches that way we have formed the back crotch extension line after doing that i'm just going to connect from the crotch extension line to meet my pant length but if you want your pant to be free you can also place your um, round tar measurement divided by two on your pants line and you can just connect to meet the crotch extension line so after doing that what i'll do next is to cut So I've gone ahead to cut and I've separated the back from the front. For the two back pieces, I'm going to place them right sides facing each other. I'll pin the no, um, crotch area and I'll go ahead and sew like this. I'll also pin the crotch for the two front piece and I'll also go ahead and sew. After sewing the crotch together, I'll open it up like this and place them right sides facing each other. I'll join the sides and I'll also join the crotch area and I'll turn it inside out. I've gone ahead to sew and I've turned it inside out. So this is what I have after sewing. The next thing I'll do is to measure around my waistline to cut my band. So I'm going to measure and whatever I have from this measurement, I'll use it to cut out my band. So this is my band for this band. The full length of this band is 8 inches. Folded into 2, it is 4 inches and the length is the length of the, my waistline on the pant. So I'm going to fold it into 2 like this, right sides facing each other and I'll, and I'll go ahead and run a straight stitch on it. So after doing that, this is what I have. So I'm going to fold this into two so just look at what i'm doing i'm going to fold it like this that way it's going to serve as my lining and my main fabric so from the folded end i'm going to come down by two inches this two inches is what i'll use to um create the paper bag waistline so i'm going to mark out two inches all the way around this band From the 2 inches, I'm going to mark another 1.5 inches. I'm supposed to mark 2 inches for my band, but my fabric is not enough. So I'm going to mark 1.5 inches from the 2 inches, which is going to serve as my band. So I'll do the same thing. I'll mark all the way around. I've gone ahead to do that. So the first 2 inches is for the paper bag waistline. The 1.5 inches is my band. And the remaining half an inch is what I'll use to join this band to my pant. I'll go ahead and run a straight stitch around the 2 inches mark that I made. You can see I've already done that. So the next thing I'll do is to join this um, band to my pants. So I'm going to pin the band right sides facing each other all the way around and I'll go ahead and sew. So I've gone ahead to sew the band to my pants and this is what I have. So I forgot to mention earlier that the part of the band where you um, join together is where you are going to fix on the front part of this pants. So I'll go ahead and use my um, razor to open it up a little bit so that my rope can pass through it. So this is why I put this part on the front. So I just create a little opening here and I already went ahead to sew my rope in place and the length of my rope is 50 inches. So I'm going to use my safety pin to pass this rope through the opening that I just made.
so i've gone ahead to do that you can see that the paper bag waistline is taking shape so the next thing i'll do is to hem the base of my pants so i'll go ahead and do that and i'll come back and show you guys the finished look so i've hemmed the base and this is what the pants look like thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like it's very important leave a comment if you have any question i'll see you guys in the next one